Hi there everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're watching The Ritter Bit Will Do, and today we're digging a hole in a neighbor's yard, so stay tuned. So here we are in my neighbor's yard. This is like the 10th neighbor that I've got to dig a hole in their yard for. It's, it's, I love digging holes in my neighbor's yard, it's great. But this neighbor particularly has a drainage problem. They have some water that comes down that hill over there and down through that rock that you can see back there. And when it rains a lot, it's like a flood back here. So they got a little high spot in their yard and the neighbor took a sod cutter and, and prepared, the, prepared the area really well for me already. So all I need to do is just take about two or three inches off of this and hopefully it'll work out really well. We know where the dirt's gonna go. We're gonna put it next to the house. So that helps keep water away from the house and uh, we'll see how things turn out. So stay tuned. Just a quick break. If you haven't liked this video yet, make sure you do that. And if you haven't subscribed, do that as well. Leave me a comment. Come on, what are you waiting for? It's free. <laughs> Let's get back to the show. So this was a pretty quick project. All we had to do was move a few buckets of dirt, but we were able to take about two to three inches off of this area. And uh, it's according to the laser level, it worked out pretty good. So I'm gonna take you over here to the side of the house. So yeah, where we put all of this, this is elevation is all gonna come up a little bit and that'll keep the water away from the house. But I'm gonna bring you back here to where 
uh, the, the city has put in this, this drainage area, you can see right here, but on a big storm, you know, if we get three inches of rain, it is come, it's rushing down here. A torrent of water is coming down here and it floods this neighbor's yard really bad. So <laughs> to the point where he had water uh, up against their house. So we're trying to resolve that problem uh, because this here is this kind of, it, it, it's not enough to handle the amount of water that comes down from that hill. And you can see that large retaining wall back there too. Well, the neighbors are actually, a lot of these neighbors are actually going to the city next week and see if they can talk to the city and come up with some sort of solution because there's water issues along this whole side of the street. Where we're at, we're just we're just a few houses away. We don't have any water issues. Never had, we don't have a sump pump in our basement. Never had a problem. But over here, it's a whole different story. So hopefully they can resolve that problem and uh, everyone will be happy. So hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. If you would, give me a like, I'd appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, leave a comment. And until next time, keep on tractoring and God bless. In today's video, did you notice that the doors are off of the cab along with the back panel? I took the doors and the back panel off before I went over there because I knew that I would be on and off of the tractor today, uh, quite frequently checking the grade and, and using <laughs> using what I always hate to use, hand tools, I had to use the rake along with the shovel and uh, had to use those every once in a while. Keep things real level because we're working in a yard. We wanted the finished product to look really well. Uh, but anyway, having the doors off, having that back panel off, uh, I was still in the shade, still had the roof above me. I was still keeping cool. It's a beautiful day here today in Minnesota. And But yeah, I just set the doors right over here. They come off so easily. I really, really like the Curtis Premium cab on my Kubota BX. So <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. I have zero regrets for getting a cab. Yeah, they're expensive, but they really might be worth it to you, especially if you live in an extreme climate like Minnesota, where it can get pretty hot and it can get really, really cold. So if you're thinking about a cab, you won't regret it, guaranteed. It's that simple.